Hi, welcome to Kashi and Fatak. Uh, like, uh, we'll, we'll start installing SQL Server 2017 today. Uh, this is Venkat here. Okay, so like, um, yeah, like uh, this particular executable will be there, uh, uh, will be given uh, the Google path or uh, some path will be given from a team. Take that one, click the custom installation. Now, uh, this software needs almost one to uh, at least 2 GB, at least 2 GB in C drive. So you need to have minimum of 20 to 25 GB free in your C drive to install the software. Okay, so instead clicking the install, it will try to download the necessary softwares. Now, uh, yes, it's trying to install it. Yeah, in the left side, click installation. Uh, at the top one, new SQL Server installation. Click it. So this particular software is a free edition. So like uh, once your uh, software is expired, this is for only one month to two months it will work this software. Once again, you need to uninstall the entire software and install it once again. It is 180 day, good. It is 180 day, it is shown. So six month the software will be available. And afterwards you need to uninstall it and install it once again. Click next. I accept the terms. Next. Yeah, just checking it. Yes, next. SQL Server could not search to update the Google window. So then click next. Yes, uh, like uh, we should get all the tick marks. Or it can be a warning also. If it is failed somewhere, the software is not installed. Okay, there is a problem with the computer. Okay, this is the window you will get. In this window, so click this database engine and afterwards uh, you need to click client to its connectivity, client to its SDK, SQL client connectivity. Yes, this is the software I want it. So click next. So it's asking for the name of the uh, instance. You can give your name here if you want, or you can have it as a default instance. Okay, click next. Over here, like, uh, yeah, we don't want to do anything. Click next. You can have mixed mode authentication. Give some password. I'm giving my password as Venkat. I'm giving the password as Venkat. Add current user. Next. Insert. That's it, the software will get installed and uh, you will have the SQL server ready. It will take another 5 to 10 minutes to finish the entire installation. In case if you find an error, like you need to install this SSMS setup also, which I will give it to you. This one also you need to install. In this video itself, in the description, I will give the path for the software to install. So this is the one. Okay, this is a name, just check it out, this is a name, you need to have it. Okay, so you have to install this software also. So this software is almost 653 MB, you have to install this software. In case of any error, you have to install this software. And afterwards, install this software, the software will work.
Yeah, so the install is successful. So no problem, like your software is ready to go. Uh, like a, like a, if you are not get, if you are, if you have got an error or something like that, uh, I already installed this one. That is why like I didn't get an error. Uh, I will try to show you how this installation will work also. Yeah, I'll close all the other window. Yeah, this is the window you will get it. So on clicking this install button, automatically the software will get installed. The SQL Server Management Service Studio will get installed. So this is your SQL Server Management Studio. Uh, yeah, SQL Server Management Studio is there. Yum, yes. So I think that software is not installed. So I need to install it once again. So I click this install button to install the software. Once the software is installed, like you can reset the software, like you reset it and you can use it. So here is the software getting installed. So everything will be finished once you click this reset button. And after restarting, the software is getting ready. So this is the SQL Server Management Studio. It is ready to go. Yes, the SQL Server is ready. Just click, click Connect button. We are trying to connect your SQL Server here. The database is here. Now you are able to see the new query. Yeah, I think it's well and good your software is installed in your computer.